क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पेपर सेट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन अ सिस्टम ऑफ पार्टिकल इन मोशन हैज मास सेंटर जी एज शोन इन द फिगर द पार्टिकल आई हैज मास एम आई एंड इट्स पोजिशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फिक्स पॉइंट ओ इज गिवन बाई द पोजिशन वैक्टर आर आई द पोजिशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू जी इज गिवन बाई द वैक्टर रो आई द टाइम रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ द सिस्टम ऑफ पार्टिकल अबाउट जी इज The quantity rho i double dot indicates second derivative of rho i with respect to time, and likewise for r. Let's find out. This question is based on the concept of angular momentum and torque. So we need to find out change in angular momentum, which is nothing but torque. Torque is equal to the change in angular momentum with respect to time. As is change in linear momentum force, change in angular momentum is torque. This will be equal to Now torque can be written as perpendicular distance of the force from a point into the force. But here we are dealing with position vector and force already is vector. So we can write the cross product of the position vector that gives us the distance cross the force. For this case, for particle I, we will have torque of I will be equal to this is nothing but rho I in this case. Rho I is the position vector. So rho I cross. force will be nothing but mass of the particle mi into the acceleration of the particle acceleration of the particle can be calculated by using ri which is the distance between the mass and the origin so we have ri double dot we take this as the acceleration because motion is taking place rotation is taking place about point o and not about its center of gravity g so distance of the particle should be taken from the point about which rotation takes place now for all such particles in this body we can calculate the total torque which will be giving us the total time rate change of angular momentum so t will be equal to sum of torque of all such i particles which is equal to sum of for all i particles rho i cross mi ri double dot so you should pay attention to one this concept and second that you have to take acceleration as ri double dot and not rho i double dot let's go back and mark the correct option so we have the answer in option b this gives us the time rate of change of angular momentum to learn more about such topics you can refer to the nptel video dynamics introduction from the course engineering mechanics statics and dynamics this course is by professor mahesh panchagnula he is from iit madras i hope this explanation will help you clear it out thank you